So good afternoon you guys, I don't normally start my vlogs at 5 o'clock in the afternoon um, but today is my nephew's birthday and uh, they're going to the cinema so my sister, my niece and my nephews are on their way here, they're almost here um, and yeah we're going to be going to the cinema um, I can't remember what we're going to be watching, I think it's like one of the new Marvel films this is what the film is, so it seems like it's quite a hot day today I looked outside and people had their arms out so I did have a jumper on but I've just quickly popped this top on instead and I'm going to bring a cardigan um, my sister's almost here and I still have a bit of a toothache if you guys watch my last video it's kind of like a one or two it's not a 15 out of 10 at the moment um, but it's still hurting a bit so I'm going to quickly run to Tesco's across the road for me see if I can get some ibuprofen and also see if I can get some popcorn I've also got them a birthday gift each because they're twins they're 14 today I've just got them two I think they're two Nike bags so here's just a really quick look of the day before I head out um, I've just got these jeans on, can't see the brand but that's the name of them, um, this top which I got from Primark, just got my cardigan and my Primark backpack. So here's a quick overview of my outfit in the mirror, I'm going to change my shoes, ignore all the mess on the floor, that's just some ASOS returns but I'm going to change my shoes because I don't really like how these look and um, yeah. Just got my reusable bag in case I do manage to find popcorn because I need to get full pack. So I managed to find the exact popcorn that my sister and my niece and nephews like and also managed to find the um, some ibuprofen. Just on the rabbit with my nephews. You can pass it in the middle. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Is that yours or mine? Is it making us not yeah, that's yours. You're not going to make it this time anyway. Thank you. There you go, Shane. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What's the word humid? Got your chips, Kaden. Come on, you're meant to put the popcorn in your bag, by the way. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Ryan, is my nuggets there? Oh, sorry. It's just my chicken nuggets. Yeah. Who oh, wants a nugget? Me, please. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, there. <laughs> Hi. That's my sister. Caden and Kamar don't Here like being go. in my videos. Do you want to be in it? It's your it's birthday. <laughs> Hi, it's their birthday, guys. Hi. 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 Let's do a Let's do Yay. <laughs> That looks so good. That is not slushy. So we're going into screen eight. <laughs> Thought I would get a clip of Bluebell for the vlog. I just noticed that she was awake. It's actually quite hot today. Um, she seems to be coping alright. She's absolutely loving her B setup. If you guys haven't seen the video when I set up her cage, I'll have it linked down below in the description. She loves this hanging tunnel from Smudge and Mr. Moo. Oh, she's coming out the other end. So I'm just in the bath and I thought I would share with you what products I'm using today. Um, so what's made the bath this colour and some bubbles, you don't really get a lot of bubbles on this product but it smells really good. Um, so I'm using this Body Shop uh, Berry Bath Blend, it's a hydrating bath foam. Um, I actually got this in my Body Shop advent calendar last year and it smells so good. It smells really nice and fruity. So the shower gel I'm going to be using is this Body Shop um, Strawberry one. This smells so good probably one of my favorite shower gels um, I'm not using any scrubs today normally I'll have my soap and grow scrub of your life and breakfast scrub but I need to get some more of that so I'm not using any scrubs today and once I get out the bath this is the body butter I'm going to be using this is just the body shop shea butter I think this is probably the thickest body butter they do it is quite hard to rub into your skin but it's really moisturizing so good morning you guys I'm just about to pop on some of my body shop hemp hand cream um, I'm just in a rush to get ready because my sister is going to be picking me up 
up to help me go to the post office. I haven't been to the post office to send off orders in a long while. So if you didn't know, I've finally reopened my shop, Tiny Paws & Co. I have it linked in the description. Um, I think I had it closed for almost two months and I opened it a little over a week ago. Because of my really bad toothache last week, I pretty much didn't really do anything. So I didn't get around to pack orders. However, for the last two days, I've been focusing on um, getting orders done. I'm just about to put my um, socks on so I can put, so I can put my shoes on. So yeah, over the last two days, I've just been packing um, all of my orders. I had over 50. Thank you so much to those of you who purchase um, stuff on my shop. It means a lot. Um, so yeah, I've been sorting out orders over the past two days and I'm going to be sending them off today. Um, I didn't give you guys an update on the film because I haven't properly spoken to you since Monday. It was probably one of my favourite Marvel films. Honestly, as soon as it started, I just loved it and I love all of the characters. So if you haven't seen it, I'll definitely recommend watching it, especially in the cinema as well. It was it was really, really good. So I actually have work today. This is the first time um, I've been to work in a little over a week because my toothache started last week, Monday, and I've been off ever since. So I only do four days a week because I'm doing part time. Um, I do 25 hours. I feel like I've filmed in this uh, position quite a few times recently. It's been like one of my new my new filming spots because I've just been trying to I've been trying to switch it up a little bit so that my vlogs don't feel too same. But over the last two days, because I've been feeling a bit better, I've just been getting a lot of stuff done. I've been organising a lot of stuff around the house. So I sorted through my freezer, cupboards, my shoes, um, and a few other bits and bobs. I just wanted to get things done really and organised. Um, I managed to finish off editing my last uh, weekly vlog, which turned out to be quite a long vlog actually. Um, I started it at the end of August and um, yeah, it ended up being a bit longer than I had planned. It to be because of the whole dental situation I ended up adding that into the end of uh, the last vlog um but I feel like whenever I upload a vlog where I'm with Alex there's always at least one person who asks is if I'm in a relationship with Alex or if he's my boyfriend and me and Alex are not together so I've actually got these ASOS things to return as well but I'm not going to do that today I'll probably I might do that tomorrow I can bring these stuff to work with me and um, go to the post office because there's one across the road from my workplace or just down the road from my workplace um I have too many bags to bring with me today I have like five bags um so yeah i'll probably bring these tomorrow so the tv is finally gone um it used to be like right here i used to lean it against my wardrobe that used to be the old living room tv if you guys have been following my vlogs over the past couple of months you would know that we had some decorating going on and yeah that tv came off the wall and it's now in my mum's room it's on her wall uh the decorator people came back a couple of days ago to sort out a few things in the bathroom so they put that tv in her room on her wall so it's finally out of mine and then we've got a really big tv in the living room now and i haven't actually shown you guys the living room since it's been decorated and we've put the stuff back in there um i think it still needs a few final touches my mum's the one who kind of like decides how the living room and whatever looks not really my style but my room is where i have my style and the things that i want because obviously i bought my own furniture and whatnot but the rest of the place is pretty much my mum's taste um so the living room looks quite nice and cozy we really great for films um because of the sofas and the surround sound speakers and now we've got like a massive tv we've got a bar in there as well which i mentioned before my mum's still been filling up with drinks and stuff so yeah i'll show you guys at some point um how the living room and um kitchen is looking it's a lot different it looks quite it looks quite nice but as my sister's not here yet um i did get a parcel yesterday so it's just this parcel here which is from the person who i bought the be choose from if you guys remember if you saw my studio vlog i showed it in there and um i recognized uh, i recognized the person's writing when i got this parcel yesterday i have no idea what it is all right let's see what's inside a card Ooh. oh these are sweet i think these are some of the new shoes that she's been making so first of all we've got this hanging shoe i'll have her shop um in the description of this video and we've got this really sweet shoe as well oh i think this is a bluebell one because it's got little bluebells that is really sweet got this i'm not sure what this is it looks like a wooden piece i think this is a painted wood slice oh this is sweet i can see it's blue oh this would have been perfect with Bluebell's blue feet. This is a lovely card. Thank you so, so, so much. I wasn't expecting all of these. Um, so this was a thank you because I um, promoted her business in my um, video. I feel like in my last couple of vlogs, my outfits have been very samey. It's just because I haven't really had time to really 
pick out like new outfits if that makes sense and because I've been in a rush I just tend to just fling on the same the same things or like the things I feel most comfortable in um, and because we're coming up to autumn winter I really need to get some more jumpers even though I have a whole drawer full of jumpers you know you just have those jumpers which will get ruined if you wear them too much so you kind of tend to not wear them and then you have jumpers like this which you can wear over and over and they will last you a lot longer and especially for work as well I don't really want to wear like my nice jumper if that makes sense and I really like cropped jumpers because they look a lot nicer when I'm wearing jeans so this is just my usual Topshop black jumper um you guys have seen this in like probably my last floor vlogs um and then I'm just wearing these uh I think they're mum jeans by Pull and Bear I feel like at this point you guys probably can't even tell the difference between my jeans that I wear because they're all very samey and I haven't worn skinny jeans in a long time I think the last time I wore skinny jeans was maybe when i went to brighton with alex i'm not actually sure to be honest with you or maybe i've worn skinny jeans one or two times after that back when the weather was like quite sunny and i was working with my niece i think i wore skinny jeans then but i've just been living in mum jeans and straight leg jeans because they are the comfiest i know people always used to say oh these jeans are so comfortable and i'm thinking how can jeans be comfortable but until you've actually owned a pair um you, you just won't understand um and then i've just got my usual tote bag which is it's quite empty actually i don't really have a lot in there um but i think i'm gonna throw either my leather jacket or my cardigan in my bag because although it's been almost 30 degrees for the last three or four days um it's typical uk weather and it's gone back to possibly raining every day and i thought i would really quickly show you guys this makeup product because i don't really buy makeup that often um i only really tend to buy makeup if something i'm using has run out so i repurchased this uh revolution um eyebrow pencil when i first used this i didn't like it. and after using it for a while um i began to really like it i don't do much to my eyebrows you guys know i just brush them and feel them in with a pencil but I really like this one because it's not too dark it doesn't make my eyebrows look black and the color I get is dark brown so on one end you get a spoolie which isn't too bad but I don't really use it but it's great if you're traveling because it's just you've got your spoolie and your eyebrow pencil in one thing um and then you might not be able to see but it's basically just little little tip there and you um screw it up and it lasted me a little while to be fair um but yeah I really really love this product and I think it was only like four pounds and yeah so i got this from super drugs and i should have bought another one to be honest because i'm probably going to finish this up really quickly uh but yeah if you're wondering what i usually use on my eyebrows it's normally this but for the past couple of times i've done my makeup i've had to use like other things so my sister's outside now, so i'll try and film what i can for you guys and i'm also going to be cross filming today for my studio vlog so hopefully i don't get too confused with um the footage <laughs> Um, yes, please. Bring the bag, uh, hanger. Um, no, thank you. I'm really not stopping for long because I've got like 15 minutes before I've got to start work. It's okay if I'm a little bit late and my sister's going to be dropping me anyway. Um, this cardigan is so cute. So I saw it on um, their Instagram a couple of weeks ago and I've just been wanting it ever since and I've seen and I saw someone on the bus of it the other day and someone came into my workplace of it on the other day it's just it's just so cute it was 15 pounds though which is kind of pricey for Primark I never really shop in Primark anymore to be honest with you just grabbed a few snacks for me and my sister Let's sign up now. <laughs> see you soon So good morning you guys, I'm just about to uh, rush off to the bus stop and hope that I don't miss my bus. This is what I'm wearing today, um, I can't remember what jeans these are, these are not my pull and bear one, but these are one of my new pairs of jeans, I've got my ASOS belt, this time I've got the silver one on instead of the gold, just got this pink jumper on because I haven't worn it in a while, you guys have seen my black one uh, recently, um, but this is the pink one and I also have it in, I think it's white but I haven't worn that one, and I've just got my usual bag and I've got my leather jacket in there as well as my umbrella 
because it's due to rain today um but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and um head out now i'm not entirely sure what's happening after work if i'm seeing alex or not um i did say to him a couple of days ago if we are, we are gonna meet then he can meet me at mine after work um but yeah, we'll see um anyways i'm going to leave out now So it's coming up to 6.30 and I'm actually getting ready to go on a date. I know this is going to sound really bad, but I'll try and explain a little bit in a second. But I'm going on a date and it's not with Alex, it's with someone else. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys my outfit. I've just got this Miss Selfridge um, bodysuit on. Sorry, the lighting isn't the best, it's getting quite dark. Um, but I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of frilly. I have worn this before. Bodysuit is from Miss Selfridge. Got my usual ASOS belt. These jeans are... I think they might be Pull and Bear jeans. They're super high-waisted, skinny jeans. I think. Um, and they're just these blue ones. They're lovely. These are my favourite pair of... Um, high-waisted jeans. I haven't worn them in ages and honestly when I put them on I felt like I was suffocating. Um, I'm so used to I'm so used to wearing mum jeans now and slim leg jeans that I just I just can't wear skinny jeans anymore they just feel so uncomfortable even though I lived in skinny jeans for years especially super high-waisted and I don't know how I done it um, but I just thought I would wear skinny jeans for a change. I just got my socks on and I'm just gonna throw on my usual Nike trainers. I'm thinking of getting myself a pair of Converse because I'm getting sick of wearing the same trainers um, but none of my other shoes look right with my jeans that I wear so that's really annoying so I want to get some more like casual shoes like Converse. Um, no I actually want to get some Vans actually because I think my niece and my sister have a pair and they're really nice um, and I need to get some more boots as well for the winter but I'm gonna try and have a quick chat with you guys before this guy turns up probably wondering what the hell happened to Alex and whatever I have this massive really sore under the skin spot I've had it for a couple of days and I hate getting under the skin spots because they're so painful but anyways really quickly to just sum it all up I didn't actually think I was gonna hear from Alex ever again he hadn't spoken to me in a week i messaged him last week tuesday and today is tuesday and for the whole week i didn't hear a single word from him however he was going on and offline on whatsapp he was posting on his instagram and it also seemed like he was active on his tinder account because i actually deleted my tinder account after our second day i've been talking to alex for nine weeks now i think we've met about six times he was ill for two weeks and i was in really bad pain with my toothache my toothache is actually my tooth is actually doing all right at the moment um i haven't had the problem sorted but for the last four days i haven't been in agony it's actually been all right so touch wood um the pain doesn't come back i've got an appointment in november but if it does get really bad again um i'm just gonna see if i can get another emergency appointment and see if i can get something done um but yeah my tooth is actually she all right at the moment i don't need to take any painkillers and stuff but yeah um so i didn't see alex uh not last saturday but the saturday before because i had a really bad toothache you guys would know if you saw my last vlog and also in my last vlog i went for dinner with alex so that was the saturday before my toothache if that makes sense so that's the last time i've seen him and um he did ask if i wanted to go for dinner with him on friday but he pretty much blanked me ever since the tuesday so i didn't hear from him for the whole week and i didn't think i was ever going to hear from him ever again the past month this is the fourth time where he's ignored me for days in a row so to sum it all up together I think in the last couple of weeks he's ignored me for over 15 days in total and that's a very long time when you add it up and I never really nag at him about it I, like I'll send him a message and I'll patiently wait for him to reply and sometimes it's like a couple of days later he'll reply and say oh I'm like really busy and stuff but this week I was just getting really <laughs> annoyed with it and I didn't say anything and then eventually on I think it was on Sunday I sent him a message just saying like hey um you haven't spoken to me in a little while don't really know what's going on I don't know if it's because you don't want to talk to me anymore or like whatever I just I just I just said it really nicely like can you just 
tell me what's going on sort of thing because I haven't been talking to any other guys and I did actually download Tinder again just to see if he like changed his profile or anything and his um, bio was still the same it's a pretty simple bio but he has a picture on there which he posted on his Instagram for his 26th birthday and I noticed that was on his Tinder and I'm not sure if he just posted an old picture on Instagram and I forgot that it was on his Tinder but that made me think if that was a recent picture he's obviously recently posted that on his tinder account and the thing is with and the thing is with that app it doesn't tell you when someone was last on so the only way to tell if someone has been on that app is if their location changes so i think if you have your location on and then you go somewhere and you open up the app um the app kind of saves your last location and i noticed that his location was changing throughout the day even if i was at home I found that to be a little bit suspicious um and i did say to him in the message that i'm going going to download tinder again because it just it just seemed like he didn't want to talk to me anymore and essentially it just felt like he was ghosting me which is when someone just which is when you're talking to someone and then they just disappear with like no explanation so like i said i didn't think i was ever gonna hear from him again and i just thought i would send him another message today um just a quick message to see if he was gonna respond as like a last chance and um he responded actually i did block him but i unblocked him today and i just sent him one more message just to see if he was going to respond to it and um he responded he actually sent me a message yesterday but obviously because i blocked him it didn't go through so he resent it um and he basically just said he's really busy and he has a lot on and essentially i'm obviously not a priority it wasn't expecting to be a priority but it's like I would rather someone tell me that they're busy and that they don't want to talk at the moment rather than just ignore someone for a whole entire week if that makes sense so I sent him a message back essentially just saying that like um I just wanted to know where I stood with him sort of thing um and yeah I haven't heard from him since this morning like I said I went back on tinder and the date was kind of planned before Alex decided to get back to me so it's a bit of a difficult situation because me and Alex we actually get along really well if you've seen any of my vlogs when we're together um I feel like the best one to watch if you haven't seen them is probably okay Brandon's here let me just respond to his message So I almost dropped and broke my camera, um, but I can't really talk for long because I'm Brandon's outside. But he's 24, we've been talking for like, I don't know, maybe two or three days. I tend to actually go for a date with a guy quite quickly rather than talking to someone for weeks or, mom or months and then you meet them in person. And you're like, eh, they're not really for me sort of thing. I feel like it's better to just talk to each other a bit so you have a mutual, so you have an understanding of like each other if that makes sense um and then to just go and meet in person and then see how it goes um so with brandon it's kind of like how it was with alex essentially when we went on our first date before we met obviously i had like some interest in him but it wasn't like oh my god like i really like you sort of thing i was just like i'm just gonna go into it and see how it goes and from the first date he seemed to really like me and it wasn't until like the second date i was like okay i kind of like him um so i feel like it's the same with brandon at the moment i obviously do still like Alex and no it sounds really bad like why are you going on a date with someone I have already told him about the situation with Alex like I'm, I'm a very honest and open person we're pretty much just going for a drive to Brighton it's going to be really casual pretty much he doesn't actually live that far from me anyways I'll try and film some clips on my phone and I hopefully this hasn't come across as like really I don't know I just don't want this to come across in a really bad a negative way if that makes sense um and i'm not really good at explaining things especially when i'm in a rush but um like i said i didn't actually think i was ever gonna hear from alex ever again so yeah right so i've just asked him what car he's in he's in a black range rover so i can see it outside my window um i've just popped this cardigan on i hope i'm not going to be too cold in it because i think we're gonna like probably walk around and this is the bag i'm bringing with me today it's just my michael kors bag because i'm not bringing my vlogging camera so i've just got my essentials like my purse hand cream hand sanitizer you know all that kind of stuff um and i'm just gonna have my phone oh and i'm also feeling kind of hungry so i might see if he can take me to mcdonald's i'll probably pay for it um because i'm quite happy to pay for my own stuff so i might end up having mcdonald's for dinner because i don't have anything at home but anyways i'm gonna go now and i'll speak to you guys when i can
So I'm just about to leave out for work. I've got a half day today um, because I do half days on Thursday and Friday so I don't start until 12.45 today which is good and it seems like a really nice day today. Um, it seems quite warm outside but I'm not sure if it's warm or hot so I've just thrown together this really random outfit. Um, I've got on this cropped top from H&M and I've had to tie it at the shoulders i've done this i think the last time i wore it because it was just a little bit too long and with these kind of tops i feel like i always end up having to to tie them um and then i've just got this cardigan on i can't remember the brand but i got this from work i think this is in a medium i don't mind my cardigans being oversized i've just got my asos blue mid-rise jeans i'm so happy that i actually have mid-rise jeans now i think i maybe have two or three pairs because they're not as uncomfortable as super high-waisted skinny jeans or high-waisted skinny jeans because high-waisted will come up here whereas the these are mid-rise so my hips are kind of like here so they're not like sucking your tummy in or anything but they're really comfortable um, especially if you still want to wear skinny jeans because I thought I would just switch it up a bit from wearing my mum jeans and then I've just got my usual black bag and this necklace um, I actually got this back in 2018 do you guys remember Cupcake? she was literally my favourite hamster she was so cute so I got this from notonthehighstreet.com and I just got it customised with a little C and then it has the date she passed away on so the 30th of the 12th 2018 which was quite a while ago so I don't know if you can see that a little bit better there. um but yeah so that's my outfit and I need to head out because my bus is going to be here in like 12 minutes um but I just wanted to really quickly update you guys on how the date went. pretty much just took a drive to Brighton it's an hour from mine to Brighton um so by the time we got to Brighton it was really dark anyway because it's starting to get quite dark um early because we're going into autumn and probably in a few weeks it's going to start getting dark at four o'clock which is going to be so weird but yeah we got to Brighton it's already really dark but we just sat in his car and spoke for a little bit um and then we got McDonald's and then he pretty much drove me home so we was pretty much with each other for a couple of hours we do get on with each other quite well um he's really really easy to talk to and i wouldn't say that i like him because i do tend to meet with people that i'm interested in quite quickly and i feel like on a first date it's off it's kind of hard to tell whether you really like someone or not i feel like it takes like at least a second date to feel like you like them if that makes sense. I mean obviously if you really dislike someone you can kind of tell from a first date but you know when you just don't know if you sort of fancy them or not if that makes sense um and then things with Alex at the moment it's just a bit complicated because like I said I didn't think I was ever going to hear back from him because of the fact that he kept ignoring me for days and then I just got really frustrated with the fact that he decided to ignore me for like a whole week with no explanation and since I went on a date with Brandon I think I've had like two messages from Alex so a message a day pretty much and I'll probably get another message from him today so I'm just trying to like communicate with him a bit I feel like I don't really have time to get into it now because I really need to leave out um and I have to walk to the bus stop but it's just all a bit complicated right now because I don't want to talk to Alex and Brandon at the same time that makes sense it's kind of got to be one or the other but I don't just want to completely stop talking to Alex because I do actually like him and I couldn't only just be friends with Alex if that makes sense and it's just like it's really hard to get like uh the questions i want answered out of him because he's generally just so busy and he did say to me yesterday that he does enjoy my company and he does like me but he's just really busy at the moment and it's kind of like i feel like if he is telling the truth if you're busy then why couldn't you just say that you're busy and I feel like if I was to ever like get into a relationship a relationship with him is he gonna be like that when I'm with him if he's like this now if that makes sense and I'm also going to be returning this pair of jeans I got these a couple of weeks ago I've shown you guys them already but I popped them on the other day and I realized I didn't really like them anymore so I'm gonna return them probably tomorrow because I don't have time to package these up today So I've got my caramel latte, got my party rings, and I'm just about to make a start on doing some editing. So I've just opened my party rings and I thought, oh, there's quite a lot in there. I swear there's usually only six, but for some reason I have 11 in this pack and I'm not complaining. So 
I've just packed up my um, ASOS return because I'm going to be going to the post office again today. I'm going to be bringing a bag of orders with me to work. And yesterday when I got to work, my manager saw that I had a bunch of parcels and she was like, oh, are you going to the post office today? And I was like, yeah, I was going to go on my break. And she was like, oh, that's good because you can do the banking for me because with the shops, someone has to do the banking every day. No idea how to do it before, but every day um, she was always doing the banking. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. And it was really quick and easy to do. So because I have parcels to send today, she'll probably just ask me to do the banking again so I might actually end up going to the post office before I actually start work because um, I ended up doing that yesterday and it was good so then I didn't have to do it on my break but it's also my manager's birthday tomorrow and I completely forgot and I really wanted to make sure I got her like a little gift and a card so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop into Sainsbury's and try and pick her up a card and I would have gotten her some body shop stuff but I haven't really had time to really go into any shops but I did actually make a body shop order a couple of weeks ago and there's two items that I can give to her because they're pretty much brand new and I can repurchase them for myself at some point um so I'm gonna give that to her today and I just need to find her a car so I'm absolutely loving my outfit today it's a little bit different to usual because I don't really wear all black anymore I'm normally wearing blue jeans but today my time of the month started which is just wonderful if you guys have been following my vlogs along you would know that I recently started taking the pill so um I've taken the pill for 21 days and I'm now having the seven day break so I think this is maybe day three or day four um and then once these days are up I can start taking the pill again for the next 21 days so I feel like whenever my time of the month starts I end up wearing all black. I've just got on some black jeans. These are black pull and bear jeans. They're super comfortable. I haven't worn these in a little while. I've just got my usual Nike trainers on. Um, I've got the same top on that I was wearing yesterday. I can see so many little marks on my mirror. I did actually clean my mirror. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? But I clearly didn't clean it properly. Just got the same top on that I had yesterday, my usual ASOS belt. And I've got this cardigan on. I don't actually know where it's from. Um, I got it from work, so it's not in the best condition. It's, it's a little bit bubbled on the sleeves, um, but it's not too bad. Um, I think it might be from Topshop maybe, but it's absolutely gorgeous I love it so much it's such a pretty color and I don't have anything in this color and I just threw this on today and I thought I love this outfit it feels so autumnal but yeah it's such a nice length as well I love cardigans which are just length and it's just a really nice chunky cozy cardigan and this one doesn't have any buttons which is fine because I tend to just wear my cardigans open anyway just got my usual black bag and then I've got my Ana Luisa sort of coin necklace what's well, actually got angel wings let me turn my camera around because so i'm always wearing this necklace but you guys never really see it up close properly so that's what it looks like and um i would love it if they sent me some more jewelry because i love wearing their jewelry i've got their um bracelet on at the moment I've got my um invisible bubble hairband on and then i've just got their beaded bracelet which i wear all the time their stuff is so nice and i've got my usual asos earrings on um and yeah so that's pretty much my outfit for today um today's friday so i'm not working tomorrow i do have work on sunday and i almost forgot um, to bring the body shop stuff for my manager so i'm gonna give her this uh, raspberry shower gel and I'm also going to give her this raspberry body butter so if you couldn't tell this is my body shop drawer it's a little bit empty at the moment um I've got this soap and glory cream up here because it wouldn't fit up here in this well it can now but I need to really refill this drawer and I'm going to give the cleaner colada I think it's called lotion and body wash to my sister because I don't like the smell of it it makes me feel sick so yeah cleaner colada I'm going to give these two to my sister and I need to fill up this drawer of like my scrubs and stuff and yes, yeah, so I'm going to bring these for my manager and hopefully she likes them. She got a leave out for work in about five minutes i did want to sit down and have a chit chat with you guys about some stuff i did really want to end the vlog today um so i'm going to try and sum things up so today's sunday i have work today and tomorrow um i hate working sundays <laughs> it's so annoying so i just wanted to round up this vlog because i have been filming it for two weeks now i started it on the sick which was my nephew's birthday we went to the cinema and I didn't really have any plans for this vlog so it's kind of just 
turn out to be like this and I'm actually not going to film um, for the rest of this week because I don't really want to bore you guys with the same old going to work and then on my lunch break going to Sainsbury's, going to the coffee shop, going back home, going to work, do you know what I mean? Um, I tend to film on the days when I'm going to work and then if I happen to be doing something for my day off then I'll film it and I do really need to catch up on editing this vlog so I don't want to start another vlog until I've fully caught up with this one and I've got my studio vlog to start editing as well and next week I might actually be having a weekend away with um Brandon so essentially it won't be a weekend away because it won't be over the weekend but it will be over two days so yeah that might be happening um we've just been we was talking about it a bit yesterday and I haven't heard from Alex in a couple of days I think over the past two weeks I've only had two messages from him so for now I'm just seeing where things go with Brandon because he seems to be quite interested and I haven't really told you a huge amount about him yet and I really need to leave out so pretty much to just sum it up when I swiped for him on tinder because we met on tinder I just thought he was just your average guy he he said he had his own business um which I like said he loves animals and traveling and um that's essentially what I was looking for someone who likes animals and traveling was quite creative with her own business or something like that but it wasn't until um a few days later i actually realized that um brandon happens to come from um how do i sum this up um he seems to come from quite a wealthy family and he makes a lot more money a lot a lot more money than i expected so um yeah at first i was quite hesitant about um meeting up with him in person to go on a date because I didn't expect that if that makes sense that's not really what I was looking for um, but when I met him he was really chilled and stuff and he likes to go on spontaneous trips like anywhere just randomly he will just book a trip somewhere because he can afford to um, I didn't expect for him to ask me to go on a trip with him anytime soon so I'm just going to see where <laughs> this goes and um you know it might turn out it might turn out to be nothing but if I don't go on like a trip or just essentially just enjoy myself and enjoy the time while it lasts I'm just getting my keys to leave out um I feel like I might regret it in the future and this is pretty much my outfit today it's pretty chilled pretty comfortable and yeah I'll see you guys soon so I'm just doing that now so fingers crossed my camera doesn't drop. Um, so yeah I'm actually getting ready to meet a friend today. I've known him for about three years now um, but we've just never met and we've been meaning to meet because we don't actually live like that 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 far away from each other. And with my evenings I'm pretty much always at home doing absolutely nothing and he's actually just dropped someone off at Brighton and he was like I'm going to be kind of near you today do you want to meet up and I was like yeah sure I'm <laughs> not really doing anything today um this morning was actually quite productive I packed order oh I think that is his car just there I can actually see him now he's literally just parked right outside my window which is perfect because <laughs> then I know exactly where his car is it is actually a really nice car so he's one of those drivers that has like a really nice car and he has to like wear a suit and stuff and open the door for people and he's picked up a lot of famous people including Katie Price who I do actually like. Um, so yeah he's picked up Katie Price and her son Harvey and he was telling me a funny story about when he was pressing the button to open and close the curtains in the car. But yeah I forgot what I was saying but like I said we've been friends for a couple of years and I feel like this is why I don't like meeting people after like a long period of time because then I feel like like it's awkward and you've spoken to someone over the phone and over message and then you finally meet them this is why I prefer to like meet people in person earlier on if that makes sense because then it's less awkward and yeah like I'm normally okay when it comes to meeting people um like I don't really feel like too nervous and stuff when I go on like dates and whatnot um but I feel like I feel so nervous now because you just don't know if you're going to get on with that person in like real life as you do like over the phone and text if that makes sense um but yeah so we're pretty much just gonna be i don't actually know what we're doing we'll probably just go and get food most likely mcdonald's because it's just the easiest thing to get because you can just because you can just do the drive through um and yeah i didn't even get to show you guys my outfit it's getting really dark as well just after six it feels so weird 
going out at this time because I usually just spend my evenings at home so when I'm like so when I've been going on like dates and stuff and I'm leaving the house at like six o'clock it feels really weird kind of strange because I normally don't have anywhere to go but, um, but I'm just gonna pop you guys here on my window ledge and show you my outfit um from here so I'm just wearing my usual mum jeans I wanted to wear something comfortable I got some different boots on I managed I completely forgot I had these um pop them on and I really like them I might have to quickly show you guys my outfit in the mirror um so you can see how the boots look but I've just got my usual favorite cardigan on um my silver ASOS belt and my Michael Kors bag but this is the one with the silver and I know the lighting is really bad but yeah here's just my um entire outfit and I really love these boots they're so they're actually really nice um and they're quite comfortable I can't remember where I got them from uh might have been Primark most like um but yeah so I'll film a couple of clips on my phone I probably won't get many um and yeah wish me luck and um <laughs> I'll speak to you guys I, I don't know when I'm gonna speak to you guys because I was gonna end my vlog was it yesterday I think it might have been yesterday or was it the day before I can't remember but I I've just decided to extend the vlog because I I don't know because I want to give myself more work but yeah he's waiting for me and I don't want to keep him waiting anymore um but yeah so I'll speak to you guys in a bit that's it I don't want any. Uh, you don't want any? No. Can I get ketchup, please? About two if you can, thank you. Sorry, madam. Can you put this in the bin for me? So I'm currently just editing this vlog, so I thought I would quickly jump on here to um, just end it really um, before I add any more days to it so I can completely finish editing this vlog and start uploading it because I haven't uploaded a video in about two weeks now. I've just decided to make myself a um I forgot what this is called an iced mocha coffee um yeah I haven't had one of these in months do you guys remember when I was obsessed with iced coffee and yeah I just got I think I got a bit sick of it really because I was drinking iced coffee so many times a day every day and um yeah I just got a bit sick of it so I thought I'll go ahead and make myself an iced coffee I made the coffee yesterday popped it in the fridge and um, yeah, it feels quite nice to have one of these, to have one of these again. So I'm just enjoying this while um, editing and I've been feeling a little bit sleepy today as well. So hopefully this will get me through. It went really well with Alex yesterday. If I didn't mention the guy's name is Alex. So kind of like other Alex. This is like a different Alex, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> which is going to be really confusing. Um, but the original Alex, still haven't had anything from him. So I'm just continuing life as normal um but the alex i saw yesterday um he's really really lovely um and we had a great laugh together and we're definitely going to be meeting again very soon um and yeah and i love his car as well it's it's such an amazing car it does things i didn't even know cars could do or needed to do like the seats can mold to your body shape it's just insane um <laughs> and um yeah and also i think we might have mice and last night i swear i saw something run and then like i heard it drop and then i was thinking oh my god has bluebell escaped but then i saw her happily just sitting there in her cage and i was like oh my god is that a mouse was that a spider and i was talking to alex at the time and he was like nope there's definitely a mouse i was like no it can't be a mouse how is that possible he was like yeah but it's, it's a mouse it's like no it's not and then this morning I swear I could hear it like running in the wall and squeaking and then I went in the living room I swear I could hear stuff running around in the walls and yeah so that's something for my next vlog we'll talk about that there and um, I'm gonna stop rambling now so I can add this clip into the rest of this vlog it's quite a all over the place chatty vlog um I hope you guys enjoyed watching it um, it's just been a crazy two weeks really it's been all over the place um and yeah might be seeing um alex number two tonight i'm, I'm not entirely sure because i got home at like i don't know late ish maybe like 10 11 o'clock last night um we just had mcdonald's and we spoke for like three hours and then he dropped me home um so i might be seeing him again today but that won't be until like after seven o'clock. So we'll just see. We'll see how I feel. And yeah, so I'm actually gonna go now. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys in my next video.